Yo, what up, it's Don. Same here. Soul Brothers back up in it. Are you an outdoor player? There's a lot of outdoor hoopers. Back in the day, I used to hoop heavy outdoors. Yes. Nowadays, not so much. A little bit worse for your legs. Better to be on the hardwood, but sometimes you got to do it. Yes. Um, so, of course, you want durability in an outdoor shoe. Yes. Um, especially with the traction, being on a rougher court, that really helps. Also, Thur durable materials help too. Exactly, and I think that's only for like if you do a lot of toe drags. Yeah. Which I I do a lot of toe drags, but like. Like Donnie Boy, he doesn't. He like never do toe drags, no. right? So it all depends on your style of play. We'll 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 tell you guys if the material is durable in the toe. Obviously for toe drags. Also, um, don't get a light colored shoe. Get a dark colored shoe. Or just like like never get a light yeah, colored ever. shoe. Yeah, But even shoes. more so outdoors. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, they're gonna get really dirty, and you know it helps if it's not the most expensive shoe. Oh uh, yeah. Because yes. it's an outdoor shoe, you know what yes, I mean? They, they get banged up faster, so. Yes, and also. Cushion if the cushion is nice. Yeah, that'd be great. You know that saying? helps too. Um, so anyways, let's start off with the Wow 7. Mm -hmm. The Wow 7 is a very expensive shoe. That's why it's in the second tier. And we have two tiers. And uh, it's 160, 160, 170, 180, somewhere around there. Yeah. Like Different colorways are different prices for some reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really hard rubber, very durable. Cushion is nice and very soft. And you have like that... Uh, like a little shroud over the toe, the yeah. extra material, which also helps with durability if you do toe drags. So for outdoor use, it's great, but it's really expensive, so that's why it's in the second tier. Yeah. All right, next shoe is the Hover Havoc 2. Yeah, uh, it's a number two? Yeah, because the cushion. That's why I put it in number two. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, like, so like the- uh, I thought you meant the Hover Havoc 2. Oh, oh, I was no, like, no. there's only one habit. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and the two is coming out soon, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's it's in the second tier. Sorry, I meant second tier yeah. because the cushion is not great, you know? Yeah, but super durable Very and durable, not yeah. a bad price. Yeah, definitely. And so. you have a lot of synthetic in the toe area as well if you do toe drag. So Hover Havoc Low or just the regular Hover Havoc mm -hmm. put them in there. Next shoe is the fly trap. Dude. Same reason, you know. Um, I would say it's not as durable in the toe area if you do toe drags because it's more of just like a uh, a textile material. And it's pretty thin. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of fuse in toe area as well, so that kind of sucks. But traction and also it seems really durable. It's very hard rubber, but the cushion sucks. The cushion is real stiff. So uh, if you're on the hardwood, uh, not even the hardwood. The, if you're on concrete, yeah. then your feet are not gonna. Are not gonna thank you so yeah all right next shoe is the mom of focus same thing here same exact thing the materials don't seem very durable if you do toe drags and uh, there is a little bit of fuse in the toe but i don't know I, I feel like you'll you'll rip through that real quick cushion sucks as well uh but the outsole is very durable Su super hard rubber so that's why it's in the second tier also you know this and the fly trap are not too expensive not exactly so that yeah. helps same with the witness three yeah, uh, I feel like the Witness 3 probably has the best cushion setup out of those three as far as the budget Nike models go. Super hard rubber, very durable cushion. It's a full length air unit, which is a little bit better, but also it bottoms out pretty quick because the cushion is so thin and you're so low to the ground. But uh, it feels a little bit better as far as like just playing, you know, not for hard impacts. You right. know? Uh, and also the materials are very soft like textile knit type of material so watch out if you do toe drags mm -hmm. all right moving on to the first tier uh let's start off with donny boy's favorite shoe of all time which is the nike precision 3. the greatest bucks. shoe ever made <laughs> no uh you can get it's 70 dollars, but it's on sale for 50 plus save 25 code oh yeah we'll try to link on these down below uh, you can get it for forty dollars. He got another pair for forty bucks, guys. Mm. If you follow us on Instagram, you guys would know. Mm. But you got the, he got the same exact color. With, you got two blackouts. No, I didn't order another pair. Oh, oh, you didn't order. No. One. Oh, I see. I, I just did. put that up. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you ordered another. No, pair. no. Okay, okay. I gotta hold myself back. <laughs> uh, but Man. that's it's a crazy steal. But that shoe is a banger. I mean, yes. for that price point, you know, you wouldn't expect much. But it's actually a great performer and durability like the outsole is pretty durable cushion soft cushion is soft so that's nice not like the most impact protection but definitely a nice like little bouncy ride the upper isn't like gonna be the most durable yeah i don't think so yeah but for that price you can't really complain about that 
Yeah. It's a it's a big time uh, outdoor shoe, though, but, for sure. Yeah, but it's like really thin and flimsy, and there's not a lot of. Is there fuse in the toe? There's a little no, bit. No, right? it's like a synthetic in the toe. Oh yeah, yeah. so uh, if you do toe drags, just watch out. Yeah, just watch out. But uh, anyways, there's that. Next shoe is a CP three point twelve. Traction is very durable. It's a, it's a hard rubber. It's a herringbone. Very deep grooves. Cushion is very very soft. It's like a really soft file with a nice four foot zoom unit. Uh, the toe area is there's no fuse. There's no, nothing to guard against toe drags. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can scrape your it. toe with exactly, those. This is exactly. a nice soft line. It. Yeah. So you should be careful if you do toe drags. Be careful if you choose this shoe. But other than that, if you don't, it's a great option. Yeah. All right, next shoe is the Adidas Pro Vision. So the outsole is a full herringbone outsole and it's deep grooves, pretty hard rubber. Cushion is full length balance, which feels great for impact protection on outdoor courts. And you have like a suede, like pretty thick suede type of material in the toe area, which will be a little bit more durable than, you know, versus like a knit material, you know? So uh, you should be okay if you do toe drags. Uh, it should be a, a good amount more durable. So yeah, and it's only a hundred bucks, pretty damn cheap. And same thing with the Marquee Boosts. Um, Marquee Boosts, uh, the rubber is a little bit softer than the Pro Visions, but I still feel like it'll be very uh, like adequate enough. Mm -hmm. And cushion obviously is full-length boost, so that's gonna be great. And materials are like this, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's slightly thick. It's more of like a, what do you call it, fused type of textile material, you right. know what I'm saying? And it feels a little bit more durable than like the CP3.12 flying in, like the Precision 3s. So uh, you should be pretty good to go with the uh, with toe drags in that mm -hmm. shoe. So yeah, uh, it is a little expensive though. I think it's like 130 bucks for the right. 120, 130 bucks. But you're getting boost, and I feel like it's, it'll be pretty good for outdoor use. So there's that. Next shoe is the Dame Five. Yeah. Really cheap, 115 bucks. Very durable outsole, very hard rubber. You have full length bounce. You're gonna be good on cushion, and the materials are. Pr uh, it's like a pretty thick. Uh, it, it's a it's a mesh, but then underneath there's probably some like textiles and stuff like that underlaying the material. Yeah, then the back half is like a synthetic. Yeah. Suede or leather. Exactly. So you should be okay if you do toe drags. Yeah. Like, not the best protection against toe drags, but it's not the worst. So. All right. Next shoe is the Lee Ning Sonic Seven. Mm. Uh, CJ McCollum wears this shoe, and uh, I've been playing in it. Uh, it's right here actually. And the rubber is very hard, so you're gonna be good to go for durability. You know, it's not the deepest screws, but you should be fine. Yeah, they're not really sharp, so yeah, uh, it doesn't look like they'll wear down really fast. Yeah, and Chinese companies make like the extra durable rubber all the time, so yeah. you should be good to go. You have, you know, light full length, light cushion, which is very very soft, so you're gonna be good to go for uh, impact protection. And then the materials, you have a little bit of fuse, but uh, it's more of like a textile material. Um, so I feel like this fuse will help a little bit. So it's not it's not the best for protection, but it's definitely not the worst as far as yeah. it's actually like pretty good. So you should be okay with toe drags. And last but not least is the Anta KT4 uh, or the KT4 Low. Uh, watch out for toe drags because it is a pretty thin like knit material, but cushion is great, especially for impact protection. Super soft, lots of compression, and the uh, the rubber is they call it their extra durable outsole. Right. So uh, it should be good to go. It's pretty hard as well. So anyways, that's our list for the top outdoor shoes uh, that you can get right now. Top uh, outdoor basketball shoes. If you guys want to cop any of these, we'll leave links below. Hope he helped you guys out. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.